Like a lot of guys out there, I get up and get dressed for work. I find the right tie and the right shirt and suit, but I can never find the right backpack to go with my outfit. Until now, the Timbuktu Foundry backpack. All right guys, check out this bag right here. This is the Timbuktu Foundry backpack. And I really like the look of this backpack. Very professional. You wanna throw on a suit or you wanna you know, dress up for the day, throw this backpack on and I think you got something. This is actually an 18 liter pack. It weighs 3.3 pounds. It's actually a little heavier, but that's the wax canvas they use and the little leather accents. The dimensions on this bag are 18.9 inches tall. It's 11 inches wide and it expands out to five inches. This bag is actually a good, it's a good everyday carry bag. It's small, just enough for your essentials. I would say minimalistic. That's a perfect word for this bag. It's a minimalistic type of backpack. You can actually fit a 15 inch laptop and everybody knows that Tim Puck 2 offers a lifetime warranty on their packs. Now the price, the price is a little expensive guys. I'm just warning you, this is a nice bag. This is a very nice bag, but the price is a, a little expensive. I don't like it, but you gotta kinda pay to play. This is 229 MSRP and that's how much I paid for it. I've been carrying this bag for a couple of days and I really like the functionality. The organization that's built then is very minimalistic, very simple, and let's run through it from the bottom to the top. So down here at the bottom, we got a little leather accent piece where you can clip in a bike light, and I really like that they just put this leather on just the little parts of this bag. You got a little leather piece right here with this pig snout, then you got a little leather trim right here at the top, and then around on the back on the shoulder straps you do have a little bit of leather trimming so very minimalistic as you move up the bag you get to this first pocket right here which is kind of a hidden type of deal it's a ykk zip and it's just a big uh dump pouch and what i stuck in there are my power beats pro i was able to stick in like a word notebook and I think I have an anchor battery in there. So all of that stuff kind of sticks, fits in there with no problem. Also, what you have in there is, is a key leash. And you see how long this key leash is? So you would have no problem like pulling this key leash out and then actually accessing your door if you needed to. So a lot of the times on other backpacks, the key leash is stupid small or stupid short and you're trying to work with something like this long and you can't get to the, you know, to the actual Actual lock that you're trying to unlock so I like that Timbuktu thought about it this way like hey let me give us give them something that actually works give me something that actually works thank you now on the outside right here you do have like a clip where you could clip in your keys as well I don't necessarily I wouldn't necessarily use this but it's there if you want to like if you wanted to clip in your keys maybe just taking them off real quick, you wanna clip them on the outside of your bag, you can do that right here. This is a metal little clip right here. Now on the side of this bag, you do have a water bottle pocket. Now this is just big enough to fit this regular size water bottle. So I would have really liked to see this water bottle pocket a little bigger, maybe some type of expandability or something like that, but for right now, just a regular water bottle will fit in that side. Man, I really like this fabric. The fabric on this thing is so nice. They say it's a wax canvas, but it's really, it, I don't really feel the wax in it, you know, like you would normally feel like that oily feeling. This is just something that's really nice and thick and dense. On the other side of the bag, you do have a pocket, and this is like an L-shaped opening pocket, YKK zips. And then you could also put a water bottle on this side as well. But what I chose to stick in was my little small totes umbrella and it fits in there pretty perfectly. Like I said before, they use leather on this bag in I think an appropriate way. Just a nice little strip of leather. It says Timbuktu. 
pressed into the leather uh, strip and I really like that. It's really appealing to me, very, very subdued, but it says very professional. Let's flip this bag around and check out the back. So on the back of the bag, you get these shoulder straps. They're actually pretty dense. They have a really good feeling to them and they're, like I said, they're padded well. I can see these shoulder straps really lasting a long time. They're actually bar stitched on all the connections. Again, very well made. I, I can't really say that enough, that this bag is very well made. On the top, you do have a handle strap right here, and the cotton webbing that they chose to use right here is very coarse. It almost reminds me of like an old military surplus type of feeling um, handle right here. Definitely rugged. Um, I'm really liking this and actually the connection of the shoulder straps to the, the padding itself is done really, really well. Now on the back of the bag itself, there is a big pocket right here. It's kind of hidden. So if you want to just like stick some money in here or something like that, you didn't want people to get access to it. For me, I stuck in a plastic, you know, document organizer. You can see how big this is. This is a big as a piece of paper and that fits with extra room in this back panel. Now on this back panel, you don't have any mesh or anything like that. So carrying this bag in the summertime and the heat could be some little build up in your back, definitely. That's one of the downsides of this bag that I can see. So moving down, you do have a zipper pocket. It's actually a really like a two in one. You could make this a pocket where you stuck in some items, but the way Timbuk2 designed it is for you to unzip this portion and then actually unzip the other pocket, the other zipper on the bottom. Now you have a pass through that you can use for your luggage. I think that's pretty slick. You know, a lot of professionals are traveling these days. They gotta take flights for their normal course of business. So that will definitely help you out to slide it onto your carry-on. So let's go into the main section of this bag. This is like a dump style bag, but the, the opening of the bag itself is on these magnets. It's pretty slick. It's got these little nipples or whatever on them and they just kind of lock in. You just kind of feel your way around and they lock themselves in automatically. So that's pretty cool. Nice little closure. Pull it down and then lift it up. Now inside of here, you just got a big dump pouch and I'll try to lay it down so you can kind of see what it looks like inside. So on this side, you have a laptop sleeve where I was able to stick in my 15 inch laptop, which Timbuktu says this is about the maximum size for this bag. So it does have like a flap where it's some Velcro right there to hold the laptop in. I checked before, the laptop compartment is padded and it also is suspended off the bottom. So even if you drop this bag, it should protect it from that hard impact on the ground. So on the other side, they do include like an organizational panel. It may be hard for you guys to see, but I was able to stick in a knife. This is the Kershaw Chill and I got my flashlight, I never leave home without. They have one pin slot. So I stuck in my G2 Pilot pin and then there is a zipper compartment on this side where you can stick in some additional items. I was able to stick in my old iPhone. That's my work iPhone. It's a nice size zipper pocket and slip pocket as well. So you have a lot of little space very minimalistic organization. Some folks would like more organization, some like less. I think this is gonna be for the guy that likes less. They're not carrying a lot of electronics, or if they are, they have their own little pockets or um, pouches that they're gonna stick inside this bag to organize their things. What else do I have inside this bag? I carry these like cheap old Chinese uh, pouches right here and what I have in here is like some Clorox wipes in my first aid kit and down at the bottom of the bag I have my big electronic organizer so you could go to something like this if you don't have a lot of organization inside the bag throw in like an organizational pouch where you can you know carry all your cords your 
you know, chargers and everything else, and then be able to stick it inside the bag. That's an option. Inside of the bag itself, like after everything is empty, there is a lighter color fabric inside of this bag, which is definitely helps you to, with the visibility factor, being able to see inside the bag. I'm a fan of Timbuktu's products, and I have been for a long time. They're an American-made company out there in San Francisco, and I think that they make great products. I've actually had a couple of instances when I had the user customer service department, and they were always nice and welcoming, so they have that behind them. I appreciate the lifetime warranty, especially on a fabric bag like this one. We all have situations where this thing might tear or rip. You can always go back to Timbuktu and, and lodge your complaint or send it back to them and have them fix it. So I definitely like that. Man, I'm trying to tell you the feeling of this bag is excellent. It's premium. The question that I gotta answer is would I pay $229 for this bag? I say hell yes. This is a super professional, great feeling bag. And you gotta kind of be into this look. You know, it's not the sports kind of look where it's like a North Face or Osprey. This is definitely an in the office, white collar type of job look. Or you're a business casual kind of guy where you're wearing slacks and loafers and button up shirts to work, which I am. So this kind of appeals to me because pretty much every day when I go to work, I'm putting on a suit. So this will fit into an office um, setting just fine. This will fit into a meeting setting just fine. And no one would think twice about it. Thanks for watching George Define. I'll see you guys in the next one. I got backpacks coming in left and right. So hopefully I can sit down and do some video reviews for you guys thanks for watching again i'll see you in the next one guys peace